Hey, what's up, guys? It's Connery again. Back at it. Like from before, muddy water. Fish should be in the grass. In that three to four foot zone, watercolor is melted ice, chocolate mocha. So, it's going to be a flipping bite. So, me and my buddy up here, he brought his boat out. Uh, he's oh. already flipped through this whole area. So, what? I'm just trying to do something different. I'll see it. Trying to pick up some scraps. Oh, yeah, I so, guess so. My go to in conditions Why not? like this. It's on the point. It looks good. Um, if you look at the clouds, there's like thunder coming. Um, I'm thinking chatterbait or topwater. I had a topwater hit, missed it. And then I'm just like, I gotta cover the water before the storm comes in. So I'm throwing chatterbait. I'm just snaking around the uh, grass. I think I'm fishing it too fast, actually. If I fish it slower, I probably got more bites. So I'm fishing a 3 8 ounce uh, white and chartreuse jackhammer. Once again, razor shad on the back. My buddy's throwing the uh, infamous like striking, uh, structure. Maybe it's done by the city. Texas rig. They all look Flippin the same. Hook. 3 8 ounce pegged. And so I gave up on the chatterbait. I started doing what he was doing. He was, he was count. He was catching them pretty good. Put it that way. Something's not right. Something don't feel right. Like the water rose a foot. And you was catching them before the water rose. Then the fish should still be well, transitioning, the right? I was catching them inside the grass already. But they oh. should still be like in here. Yeah. I guess so. Yes, I did guess so. Took his advice. <laughs> and look what happened. This side, this side. Oh boy! <laughs> 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 We're just talking yeah. about no bites! Fuck <laughs> yeah, boy! Damn, son, look at this. It's still in there. Could pop right out though, but yeah, it's still in there. I think that's a 20? I don't know if that's a 20 though. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Yeah, so I've been grooming my buddy Vincent into a, uh, a big bass haul oh, chaser. Oh. 19. <laughs> 1975? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it. Trying to get into the. Uh, it's a good one. There we go. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, trying to get my buddy Vincent thinking if it ain't that twenty, a, it didn't make the cut. <laughs> Such a standards high. Hey, were you fishing this morning? Were you fishing windblown areas too? Uh, no, it wasn't windblown. Yeah. Okay. Trying to just keep that in mind if it was or not. So, I only got like two flipping bites. I missed one. I got that good size one. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, Buddy Vincent probably caught five but that or one six. was kind of windblown, so I was thinking if it Open was. green grass. I mean, if anybody goes back to this lake, I'm pretty sure the fish are going to be in the trees, I caught him here before too. Not in the grass. Because uh, the water rose, it literally rose. Like, I can see that mud coming in though. Overnight. Sure. The mud. See this mud line coming in? Mud. Oh, mud. Yeah. Mud's pretty bad. Yeah, I hate to say it, but. I haven't cranked the scrub Yeah, that was bad. Around also. the timber. And they didn't want that. Yeah, so we do a lot of moving around, a lot of scouting, the north side of the lake. And it was even worse condition, so we came back, fished the lower half of the lake. I think everybody knows exactly where the spot's at. <laughs> Yo, pop one down? I mean, we'll it's wind blown, it's yeah, a point. This is milk this spot. So, it's a good call to catch one. Nah. Oh, this is a good pop. Oh. 
Yeah, the sparks look good. Wind blowing, everything, man. Yep, yep, yep. Just flip it. Had a feeling. Good tournament size, man. Right at the boat ramp. Yeah, the wind is crazy here, so I'll talk over it, but what I'm doing is uh, I've actually rigged up a <laughs> drop shot, power drop shot, like a 5-inch leader, and I'm trying to see if I could pick up some more fish, because it's so dirty, but... That's decent. Decent. That's like a 15. <laughs> yeah, man. You pulled it like it was a 20. <laughs> That's true, though. That's true, though. I'll give you that. Yeah, so, anyways, uh, the power like drop shot, 20, like, in like, my opinion, is not one. good for flipping grass. Okay. Timber, so yes. Grass, 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 grass always makes it feel better. So it's not even so worth mentioning back, that one. <laughs> that's a little closer than what I'm doing. Right there. Oh, that's true though, right? It'll have its place. It's long grass, man. That might be the key. I mean, you do, but I'm just thinking more like a reaction bite, you know? Yeah, we're doing kind of reaction bite. And usually when I when they when they hit it, I don't usually miss because you could do it a lot of times. I just don't toss that you know, right? I go do it, I they always hit it from the back. Yeah. So always miles on, yeah. The hookup the hookup's always better on it. So I usually don't miss. Rokunda Hota, he he misses a lot of them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he gets a lot of those. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep, let me translate. <laughs> Sorry about the Monglish. It's, we just fe speak it it's too fluently. So whatever comes to mind, we just uh, speak back a frog bass. But Basically, we're talking frog about bass. On, frog bass. whether you want to slowly walk your frog or you want to scream it across the top. I mean, the water is buddy. Be a frog bass. And what I'm doing is, this is my normal cadence I always throw. It looks so good. It doesn't seem yeah. fast to most people. But that reel is an eight gear ratio ratio. So it's Okima, it's I do this all the time, Okima too. And you can see how I'm fishing it. I'm bombing it out pretty far. And I'm just bringing it back. Because we just comb through it with like a. Uh, so usually when you pull it this fast, those 14s, what you got retrieves, retrieves. Yeah, And we flipped get... everything. So you gotta do something gear. different. And uh, that's a technique I use to catch those big fish. You know, Ones a lot I of want. Times. Uh, it's not really moving very slow. It's actually moving more fast. It's like a point, you're good, you're good, you're good, uh, big bass, huh? It's like just fools the It's big a totally ones. different game. Like you have to be pretty stubborn, like I said, to to catch the big ones. Because uh, if you know a certain technique is gonna work already, just hang on to that technique. Yeah. Oh, did you flip my boat? Oh, God, where you at, bro? I missed him completely. Dude. Come on, you get him right here. He's he's hella active. Nah, man. You go go the call. I'm mad, huh? It was decent. It's probably like a 15, 15. Surprised I didn't get it. Just pulled it down. Maybe you have to slow down, bro. Slow down, stop it. Come on, come on, come on.
Oh, force the bike. Yes. That dude wanted it slow, huh? See how how long I put it over there? He wanted he wanted it chilling on the surface. All right, buddy. And that was just to show you guys how you're supposed to fight a frogfish. You don't fight them. You reel them and you both flip them. All right, guys, we're done for the day. Pick up my buddy here and call it good. Lightning's not fun. All right, uh, end of the day, stormy day. I uh, came back to one of these uh, lakes that we fished uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, the flipping bite is still good. Call it a 19 and a half. Or 19 three quarters on it. Uh, that it looked really good for a frog bite. So we kind of forced a frog bite. Got three frog bites. I feel like I was fishing too fast. But it is what it is. And we caught one on a chatterbait when the wind was blowing. So that's really three or four. I actually got like five or six bites during midday. Yeah, it's not so good. Could have been better, but the uh, water was just chocolate milk and getting more chocolate milk, so uh, I'll take what I can get. All right, guys, see you guys on the next one.